Hey guys, what's up? Heather with The Mosco, and today we're going to be doing some winter sowing. So basically, winter sowing is putting some seeds in some moistened soil in a container like this outside in winter. It makes its own little greenhouse and you can start your seeds that way. A couple benefits to this would be that it creates stronger seedlings because they're growing in a little bit more adverse conditions than what you would give them indoors. B, you're not required to have lights, um, the setup, you don't have to water it, so it's a really cheap and easy way to start seeds. Have I ever done this before? Sure haven't. We're going to learn how to do this together, friends. It's going to be really exciting. So not every seed is going to be compatible with the winter sowing method. It's really cool season seeds, things that like to, can handle a light frost, like to grow in cooler conditions, so things like bachelor buttons and snapdragons, which is what we're starting here today. I've got black boy bachelor buttons, blue boy black bachelor buttons, and then costa mixed snapdragons and some potomac mixed snapdragons. And I have quite a number of seeds here. I've got 250 of these, 500 of these, and a packet of these. Um, the reasons I chose some of these. First of all, I do need to get some sort of light setup going, but the number of seeds I want to start would require like a whole lot of seat lights and ain't nobody got time or money for that. Second of all, um, these things take forever to start, like 110, 120 days, four months to get these going. And we're gonna need some flowers sooner than, sooner than later. So by starting these outside, we're gonna get a heads up on it. Also, it makes me feel like that, oh, if I can winter sow them, I could buy all the seeds. I don't have enough jugs for that, and hopefully we'll get some more jugs going. The other thing you're going to need is some potting mix. I've just got the Spelman Organic water. You're going to need something to label with. I'm going to use a Sharpie because that's what I got. A uh, box cutter, razor blade, knife, deal, and water to moisten your soil. So I've already gotten started here. Actually, I started recording this, and I think my camera settings are off, so who knows which version of this you're going to see. I wanted to record outside because it is 60 degrees and gorgeous and I just want to be outside but it's super windy and I thought the audio would be terrible so now you're getting the lovely backdrop of my garage door because my garage is a hot mess. It's always a hot mess in here. Yay. So what you do is take your container. You don't want anything that's the yellow or the opaque white but this like milky white that lets light in and clear containers are just fine. You just want something that lets light in. Um, so, you know, no use in putting our seeds in there and getting nothing. Then we're going to cut it so that we have like a hinge situation. So we cut around this way and then we also put some drainage holes in the bottom. I'll do one for you and then we'll show you a close up of that. So we want to leave enough room in the bottom for there to be you know, soil, a couple inches, but you also need something that's tall enough in the top that it cre can create like, you know, a full size seedling. I've seen people try to do this with like to-go containers and I'm like, your plants don't get too big for that. But I mean, they may know better than I do. Again, this is my first go around at it, but it seems simple enough. I mean, I literally didn't have to buy anything for this. We had all the stuff on hand, so. Where's my duct tape? Oh, you're also going to need some duct tape because you got to tape it together somewhere. Ideally, I won't get super lazy at the end of this process, and when I plant my seedlings out, is that deep enough? Yeah, it'll be all right. When I plant my seedlings out, I'll keep my containers for next year. So now that we've got them open like this, you gotta leave a hinge too. Leave yourself a hinge, you know? You gotta have a way to put the lid on. You could technically take it all the way off, but then you'd have to tape it all the way back on. And that would require you holding it and taping it. Maybe you better than I am. Hopefully you are, but uh, that wouldn't work for me. All right, so I'm gonna cut some drainage holes in here. Just a couple. By the way, why do they make these containers so like strong at the bottom?
difficult drainage hole I've ever cut out of anything in my life. Goodness gracious. Alrighty, so we've got that one done. Um, let me show you a close up of how we do this. This was fruit punch. Chicken wire just fell down. Rawr. I'm gonna go in here. some drainage holes going. Okay, now let's just get the rest of these cut open and we'll move on to the next step. We'll just speed this up because ain't nobody wanting to watch me struggle to cut these containers open. I'm wake up the kid. Let's get our uh, soil situation together. So, this is just a Spoma organic potting mix. We're not using seed starting mix for this because um, I want it to hold a little bit more moisture than seed starting mix, I think will. And we've got some good old fashioned water. And I'm gonna make soup. Oh, the smell of soil. How I have missed you. And from what I hear, you want it moist enough that it will stick together. Obviously not that, but not so moist that when you squeeze it, water comes out. So kind of like that, maybe a touch more. Okay, so now we put soil in all our containers. We're going to give it a good pat down as well. So we've got all those filled up. All right, so now we're just gonna plant according to the back of the packet. So for my bachelor's buttons, maybe we'll use the two big ones. So we'll start with this guy. Can you see this? So we've got blue boy bachelor buttons, which I'm super excited about. Love the blue color. Uh, da, 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 da. How does it say? Um, quarter of an inch 
and it says Frost Hardy on there. That's how you know it's a cool flower. If you don't know something's a cool flower, either Google is this a cool flower or sometimes it'll say on the packet Frost Hardy or it grows better when it's not as hot outside. So I'm gonna take my Sharpie here and I think I'm gonna do maybe 12 on this one. So 12 holes in here, quarter inch down. And I'm actually gonna go like maybe two seeds per hole. We're gonna give that a little bit of a tamp down. Put all our seeds back. First seeds of 2023. So exciting. Wipe off our Sharpie so we can use it. And right on the inside of what it is, Take our duct tape, and that is one done making sure that there's like not any pockets super exciting let's write on the outside what it is too So that's our blue bachelor's buttons. Let's do our black bachelor's buttons. That's only 12 plants. Maybe that'll be enough though. So I'm gonna move it up close so that you can see a little better. So we're just gonna make our holes here. Just little quarter inch deep type deals. This is another one that I think next year I'm going to just plant in the fall. Part of the issue with that is that I don't have my permanent garden space. And I don't know if I'll have it by this fall. So, sometimes you gotta make do. And that's kind of the way it is though. You're, it's gardening. It's, it's not necessarily gonna be perfect all the time. And you gotta make do with what you got. And I always feel like that you know, their seeds, they cost like five bucks. Try it, like what do you have to lose? Five dollars, it's a coffee. So we've got those two done. Let's do the rest of these as snapdragons. So we've 
got them all taped up and ready to go out. Super excited. Let's go grab something and carry them outside. Makers, the growers of bulbs, for when you order large quantities, they send them in these crates that are super handy. So keep doing that, bulb makers. Please don't this year start getting crazy on me. So here they are, just on a random stump. I have a little bit of concern about this. It might get windy, um, but look how beautiful it is out here. So I will leave them out here. Again, they will be watered from the sky and uh, pretty simple actual process. Pretty happy with it. Um, need more containers. The garden space is over here, so we're gonna start prepping that here pretty shortly because there's a lot of things that I got that are going into the ground pretty early this year. Um, so yeah, we need to get to doing all of those things. So anyhow, comment below if you've done this, if you did anything differently, share all the things. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.